What's up guys, welcome to your 56th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up an, a class that's going to handle all of our preferences and then we can set it um, to open when we use our little menu inflator for the most part. Before we, go and get, before we get into this, um, again I just kind of want to talk about what the preferences are. Um, as we, as you guys can see, we set up this list preference. You guys don't know really what that is yet because we haven't run it on our emulator. But uh, basically, it's going to create a list with like four radio buttons because we set up four options within our array, XML. And so it's going to give us four options. And depending on those options, we want it to have a value of some sort. So that's why we set up a second array that holds the value. And so basically, uh, we can refer to this within whatever class we want. Um, for example, if we wanted a text to have a certain size according to the preferences, um, we could have this array like if the first option was selected it's going to have the value of one the second option is going to have the value of two and three and four etc like that and then we can refer to that value and if it has the value of three we can set the text to like 20 dp if it has a value of four 25 dp etc so basically this is again going to save all of our data for the most part but basically I didn't know if you guys got confused with the entries and the entry values so basically this is what they're gonna see once they select one of those options it's gonna give us the value for that option for the most part But let's let's create our uh, class that's gonna be our preferences so we're gonna right click on our folder go to new class and we're gonna call this prefs for preferences preferences and uh, there we go now this is gonna be a little different um, if you guys remember right at the beginning where I probably confused the crap out of you, we extended you know the other uh, list activity for the most part. But this time, what we have been doing is extending activity. But for the preferences, we want to extend something else. So this might be kind of confusing because this is only the second time we've done it. And besides the first time when we set up that list activity. So we're going to extend something called preference activity because we're working with preferences and we're gonna still have all the access to our activity class so we're gonna right click or I'm sorry just hover over that and import it and there we go we have our preferences class set up for the most part and anytime we have an activity we want to have an on create method so we're gonna gonna right click source override implement methods and as you can see there is all of our choices again we can say on create bundle which is what we want and instead of saying so set content view we're basically going to set up our preference um, set up our preference uh, from the resource basically didn't really make sense but that's what the the methods called so it's going to access where we set up our preferences tab so we're just going to say add preference and this again is a method a method so you guys have to use this method um, add preferences from resource and then we're going to access where we set up our preferences which was r.xml.prefs so there we go we basically set up our preferences and now all we have to do is basically uh, open this activity so what we're going to do is go back into our menu class where we set up our in menu inflator and our menu options we have this one if the preferences was clicked I'm also going to copy this real quickly paste it since I added that other resource <clears throat> that other item I'm sorry which was called exit um, so there we go control shift format and now what we're going to do is set up a new intent that's going to open our preferences and also our exit which is going to just finish application because at this time only the menu class will be running for the most part since our splash activity finished and every time we hit back those activities finish as well so we want to have an option for them just to close our application so we're just going to say finish there and then we just need to set up our intent so we're going to say intent I actually I'm just going to copy and paste this nothing too new for the most part um, again we're gonna call this one prefs right here all uppercase 
and then all we have to do is set up our preference activity within our um, within our uh, Java or within our Android manifest. Also, we need to change this to like something like P. We'll say for preferences. It's because we were getting a duplicate entry within the same method. Um, so then, what we have to do again is just set up our preference activity that we set up or that we created for the most part. So I'm going to copy one of those default ones and change it to prefs. Again, that's the action name that we referred to right there in our menu Java. And then we just need to change this to our class name, which was also prefs, like that. So there we go. Basically, we have our preferences set up. Um, we're going to run the application, make sure it works. And I'll show you guys how we can use those preferences because right now we can select them. It'll save but they aren't doing anything so we can access those preferences within a class of some sort or within an activity so that's what I'm going to show you guys probably in the next tutorial because you know the splash activity the sound on it is driving me insane so I'm going to show you guys how to mute that for the most part and then we uh, hit our menu hit preferences and as you can see we have our default value of the checkbox as checked Let's uncheck that just to make sure activity works. We're going to type in a name, Travis. And as you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, as you guys can see, this is our title, and um, I'm just going to hit OK. And as you can see, it's our title, and then we also have the summary right here. So that's what we were setting up. And then here's our list preference that we set up: option one, two, three, or four. We're going to hit three, and then as we check it down, uh, you can see three is selected. Let's uh, go back hit our menu, hit exit, which will exit out of our program. Let's open it back up and see if those preferences saved. So go back to preferences, edit text, has Travis saved within our application. The checkbox is unchecked and also option three is selected even after we exit our application. So that's, what's, that's the benefit of preferences for the most part. And I'll show you guys how to actually access those preferences so they do something for, for our application in the next tutorial. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.